In this PEMCAST, we're going to be learning about finding zeros of functions. This problem says, let h of x equal x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5x. Find all the zeros of the function. All right, so that means we're looking for what the x values are when y is equal to 0. And we're going to do this by factoring. So we're going to start out with the expression 0 equals x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5x. All right, so first we need to look for anything we can factor out of all of these. So we can see that we can factor out an x. So step one for us is going to be factor out an x. All right, once we do that, we're going to get 0 equals x, and then we have to take an x out of every term, so x squared plus 6x plus 5. All right. So now we need to further factor that x squared plus 6x plus 5. So that's step two. x squared plus 6x plus 5. All right. So this is going to come out to be in the form x plus m times x plus n. And we know that because the first term is x squared. So when we multiply these terms together right here, we get x squared. So this is going to come out to x squared plus mx plus nx plus mn. All right, so now we can see that we need to find m and n. So we can see from this that these two middle terms right here, m plus n needs to equal 6 from our original equation. We can also see that this last term here, m times n has to equal 5. All right, so now we need to find the factors of 5, right? Because m times n equals 5. So the only factors of 5 are 1 and 5. And we need those to add up to 6, right? And they do. So m equals 1 and n equals 5. So now what we have is x plus 1, x plus 5. All right, so now we need to combine those back together. So combine. So when we do that, we get 0 equals x times x plus 1, times x plus 5. Alright, and we need to solve. Alright, so to find the zeros, right, what we want to do is solve this equation. So if the answer is 0, that means one of these factors must be 0, since if you multiply anything times 0, you get 0. So our options are x could equal 0, x plus 1 could equal 0, or x plus 5 5 could equal 0. So to find the zeros, we want to solve each one of these. So x plus 0 is done. So our zeros here, one of them is just going to be 0. All right, so if we solve x plus 1 equals 0, we need to subtract 1 from both sides, and we'll get x equals negative 1. So one of our zeros is negative 1. And now, if we solve this last one, x plus 5, we subtract 5 from both sides, and we get x equals negative 5. So when y equals 0, x could equal 0, negative 1, or negative 5. And those are the zeros of this function.